they integrate both signals, T3 and T4, but T4 needs to be first locally converted to T3. And uh, so a lot of the, the data, a lot of the, the discoveries we made in the brown fat, we actually used for the understanding T3 economy in the brain and the hypothalamus and the pituitary gland. And, and there are huge implications for hypothyroid, for patients with hypothyroidism, and I, I'll be happy to talk yes. about it. Well, we're, for, the, for the folks listening now who are wondering, why are you guys going into so much physiology? You, you have to That's right. if you want to understand how to treat this. That's you exactly can't, right. Especially with all of the different schools of thought around treating this, to put it kindly, we must be able to understand this physiology to understand what is a genuine therapy, what is sort of voodoo medicine, and what is potentially harmful. What, what you just said is so important because uh, unfortunately, a lot of people that talk about treatment of hypothyroidism uh, has incomplete understanding of thyroid physiology. And I don't mean to criticize any of my colleagues uh, in saying that, but it's a fact. And things that you hear, it, it, that is just, uh, you know, from a different world. For example, you uh, just we talk about T3 so much. T3 is the biological reactive hormone. T3 is the one that, the, it, but the, a strong school of thought says, never measure T3. You don't measure T3. Why would you measure T3? But this is so, uh, it makes absolute no sense. Because if you think about all of we just discussed for this half hour, I mean, why would you not measure T3? It's the biologically active hormone.